Okay, let me finish this up. All clear. Second half of this Floodgate match. Sorry, I was a day late. To, I was delayed a day posting this because I got on the uh, server the other night and found actually found people playing like on a weeknight night. And unfortunately, that took me to about one or two in the morning, and I had to get up at 7:30 because the good folks at work decided I need to work overtime. So I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of getting five or six hours of sleep and working ten hours. Or other people, other people do that all the time. I don't like it. I've got the ore. It does things to me. It's not, it's not a good thing. And I got to do that again tomorrow. So I hate leaving the server when there's people on it. But I gotta get some sleep, especially, especially because like I, I gotta post this thing. And I was gonna do it like yesterday. Well, anyway, yeah, this was real. We had, we had, a, we had another real good floodgate match uh, last night, and it's actually harder fought than this one. But I didn't play as well in that one. I think uh, we had uh, Niagara Noriega actually showed up, and he was just kicking, he was just kicking my butt all over, the, all over the map. It was, it was pretty disgusting. He was, he was just switching weapons back and forth and just doing, doing all kinds of deathmatch shit, which is unusual. You don't see. Don't see enough people doing that. It's mostly all they all want to either get out there with their their uh, their sniper rifle and snipe everybody or something like that. You, know? you don't see you don't see enough people getting out there and just basically switching between using every weapon they got. You know, basically. Um, what's going on here? Well, we uh, we're behind 40 to 71. We got most of the map. Uh, we don't have the flood. I'm not, I'm not sure why I put so much effort into the flood because they don't even have a timer on it yet. Our orb is kind of wandering around back and forth. I guess he's trying. He's trying to get that flood because we've already got the prime. He's following the logic of the orb there. Of course, at this point, yeah. He should, at this point, well, I guess he figures it's a little early to go after. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to cap the prime again. And that's going to put the orb back at back at our core. We really do need to run the orb of flood now, though, because we we can't afford to keep. Oh, we, we've knocked we've knocked their core back down quite a bit, haven't we? Yeah, we're ahead now. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I really need to get over there to the flood because we're down 20 seconds, and then if our if our orb there doesn't get into gear, we're about to lose another 20 points, so we can't really afford. I think we might get it. No, maybe not. It's very no, we ain't getting that. We're losing our twenty points. Yeah, that's the Attack end of that. Uh, that's gonna be, put us in bad shape. Seven minutes to go. I don't think this is going to overtime. Yeah, we lost the center too, so we're, it's looking pretty bad at this late stage of the game. Hold on. That uh, that that right there, that's not lag. That's that's something to do with the converter that I'm using. It's causing these little hitches every once in a while. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, there's that orb. You can see the you can see the spawn camera been at work again. I'm sure that's Bar. He does that once in a while. So it's allowed by the game. Let's see. And uh, we'll get we'll get center back here. Yeah, this ain't this ain't hard. That's an easy cap. Attack the floodgate. Got knocked out by that vehicle right away. That's okay. We got the center. That's all that's all that matters for the moment. Attack the floodgate. Yeah. I've got the orb. You get I get in trouble in this map and I just start running the orb all over the place. Get taxed, yeah. But if you're getting now This is this is how you can tell when there's a few good players on it, because if you start they they'll start they'll start positioning themselves along your, your projected orb route there and, and running interference on the orb. Because they know you're going that way. Attack there's not that many routes for the orb. Well, actually, there's a actually there's a lot of routes for the orb if you go on foot. There's you know you can usually manage to elude those people if you stay on foot. That's uh, people want to taxi all the time, but sometimes you, sometimes you have better luck on foot. Nah, not all that often actually. It's usually it's generally better to taxi. But you know what? Sometimes it seems that way. You know, if you get on foot, there you can go a lot. Of, you, can, you can go a lot more different ways kind of stay out of the way, although it's a little hard to stay out of the way because they can, you know, they can see the orb on the map anyway as long as there's somebody looking at it. Yeah, it's not really true. I mean, if the other team's on top of it, being off foot isn't really an advantage at all. They can see it. Sometimes, sometimes it feels like you got a little more flexibility that way. 
you don't have to worry about whether the uh, the guy towing you is going to go in the right direction. I have the orb. It's a good idea if you're on the, if you're on foot with the orb to be very very conservative with it. You know, don't don't try nothing crazy. You know, it's like. Uh, if there's a lot, if there's defense, if there's if there's interference between you and the prime, just go cap the float or something. Get it, send it back to the, send it back to the, uh, send it back to the to the core unless somebody else has a shot at it. Maybe there's maybe there's a vehicle back there that can tow the thing. Maybe you can get there. I think we're about, we're about ready. To move. Well, we're getting there. Didn't do much there. Got about four points. Yeah, I think the nuke just came up. I need to go get that. Maybe if somebody hasn't grabbed it already. They did. Up. Oh. I think he I had a banger. Yeah. Okay. Either that, he, either that, or he was camping it. After, but he would have been there a while. I think it just came up. I have to fall. Ah. No, that's probably. That's one of them sniper. Oh, there's that. There's that dude. Attack I'm not gonna live long enough to use it. I'm pretty sure. Attack the yeah, I'll probably lose it right here. That's probably bar right there. Attack yeah, it is. The I'm gonna play with my new video car a little more. I cranked up the uh, the anti-aliasing and the and the and the anisotropic filtering. It looks a little nicer on this game, but I really need to get some new games to try it on. I think that's what's gonna that's that's you know put make it work a little bit. Because I don't I really don't think I'm gonna stress it with this game too much. Kind of, I'm kind of hoping maybe my YouTube videos look a little bit better with the with the anti-aliasing and the yeah, anti-aliasing yeah. cranked up like that. Maybe they will. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out probably on the next video because the rest of these after these are gonna all gonna be with the new card. There's that. There's that hesitation again. That's something to do with the converter. What am I? I'm using. I think it's called Zilly Soft or something. X. Attack. It's a great converter. I mean, it uses the uh, it uses the CUDA cores on the uh, on the on the graphics card to help up with the processing. And I was converting these with enemy down. I was converting these with with Virtual Dub, and Virtual Dub uses all four cores on the CPU, but that's all it uses, and it would take oh, it would take a good 10 or 12 hours to compress one of these things. Down to what down to get what gets uh, down to what gets posted on YouTube and Zilly Soft does it in about 15 minutes, so that's pretty dramatic. And it can compress it into a lot more formats too, so which is really nice. It's a nice program. It costs about 50 or 60 bucks, but it's worth it. Attack the enemy prime node. Although that hesitation kind of, well, that's not in the original video. That's 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 the compressor doing that. I'm not sh I'm not sure what that's about. It's got a few it's got a few rough spots on. Like I have to I have to I have to put these. I'm surprised I lifted that. I'm gonna get a headshot right here. That's probably yeah bangers. There you go. I'm pretty sure he just got a high ping. There's no way I'm gonna live long enough to use this nuke. I've got the orb. Yeah, I'm Man thinking I'm gonna go back this way and use it on the core. There's there's no place to shoot in front of here. I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna get into a little. I'm gonna get into a fight with these guys, which is a bad thing to do. Yeah, there you go. Man with the shade. Bangers with the link gun. Defense. Okay, we're we're closing in on them now. We're still behind. As you can see, it's going back and forth quite a bit, but uh, we got most of the map, so. There's my attempt to kill the Dark Walker with a hamster ball. It's really hard to hit the Dark Walker with the hamster ball, but you can do it. Oh. We might get... Yeah, we might get that. Nah, we ain't getting that. I have the orb. We're fighting over the Prime, Blood's gone. Somebody else has got the... Yeah, we're, we're, we're taxing the orb, so that's a good thing. I'm just gonna sit here and... Yeah, the red orb was coming in, but the prime went down, so I no longer have to be here. Let me head on off to the uh, red prime, because that's probably our best shot. Because the flood, we have to build that, hold that 60 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna have a chance to shoot down the, shoot down, shoot down the core now. I'm afraid of getting uh, Avril there. Okay, this is probably gonna be it right here. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up right here. Nice game, Nuggie. Okay. 